It's Wednesday Wonders, science fiction and fantasy on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Hurry up, briefcase. I don't want to get caught out here again. Not after last week's debacle. Well, have you found him? Yes, Mayor. I have located the correct body structure. What? This one right here? All right, do your thing. Commencing dirty detration. I'd help you, but uh, I got this sprained pinky. Uh, now hurry! Help me pry this thing open. Oh, that's mighty potent. Well, just drag it over here. The bone mass and facial features fall within proper percentages. Commencing resurrection process. Oh, no you don't. I'm not going to have your fifth dimensional rascalism fiddling with good old God-given flesh and bone. Don't tell me how to raise the dead, you stupid bleep bloopin' box. I'm using good old voodoo Laszlo's instant zombie powder. When it raises them up, they stay up. It says right here on the package. Whoa! This one's a biter. He must be hungry. Wash those choppers, fella. All right now, I'll just slip this mask on and he should be good to go. There, it's a spitting image of him. There just seems to be one thing missing. Oh, you need something in your hand. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, yes. oh here we go. Briefcase, hand me that twine and I'll just tie it around his wrist. And then the other end around the gut too. There we go. Now go. Be free. Go solve crimes. Boy, I hope this buys us enough time. Mr. Winterbottom? Wake up. Wake up, Mr. Winterbottom. Doctor, I think he's coming around. Yes, Mr. Winterbottom. Can you hear me? We oh. thought you would never come out of that coma. Oh. Mr. Winterbottom, you had a dreadful oh. accident. An asteroid struck a propane tank while you were vacationing on your motorboat. Oh. At that point, you crashed into a oh. um, great white shark, and you were saved oh. by sea otters. Oh. 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 Do you know where you are now? No. No, no, uh, no I don't. Do you know what your name is? Name? Huh? Uh, who, who am I? Who, who are me? Well, clearly soon to be Mrs. Winterbottom. He's suffering from amino amnesiac psychopathy. Oh, doctor, will he be all right for the wedding in a week? Oh, right, the wedding. I nearly forgot. Uh. Well, while his personality glands are out of balance, you can't leave him alone for a second. We must make sure there are no aberrations in his behavior during the recovery process. Watch him 24-7. But sleep in separate beds, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, this, this is just too much to absorb. D Doctor, I don't understand anything you're talking about. Why, Mr. Winterbottom, that's completely normal in the condition you're in. But don't worry. Before you know it, you'll be back at your role as Clarence, the fifth divisional manager. Also known as Clint. after the propane truck you were driving hit a motorboat and exploded. Wait, wait. Wasn't there something about an, an asteroid and a shark? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, that's because once you escaped from the truck, you were hit by a shark-shaped me- meteor. Oh. 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 Oh, my. Oh, what's the odds of that happening? Well, how did I end up in the hospital? Oh, well, there was a wild family of otters that carried you Wait, there. wait, hold on, dear. That's totally ludicrous. Hey, watch out for that car! Whoa, whoa, holy cow. Oh, oh, watch where you're going. Oh, we're here at your work. Uh, um, time uh, to start another day whoa. as the fifth divisional manager. Work? I just had a serious accident. Should I really be working? The doctor said a good hard day of work would help speed up the recovery process. All right, all right. Well, I guess I'll get to work. Oh, what's my job again? This just in from the future. Clarence Winterbottom was a mild-mannered customer service rep for the FASU. While ramping alligators in the Everglades, Clint's fan boat crashed into a hammerhead shark. Thrown clear of the wreck, he was saved by asteroid-dwelling platypi. Now, with amnesia far beyond that of mere mortal amnesia, he is... Clarence Winterbottom, the fifth divisional manager. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, they're supposed to explode like that. Well, have a nice day. Hello, my name is Clarence Winterbottom. What can I do for you today? Yes. Yes, I see. Uh, yes, ma'am. They're supposed to be hot like that. Fire is a very common occurrence. Our products were made to do that. However, I will be happy to send a service rep to your house at your convenience. Well, all right then. Have a nice day now. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a nice day now. Oh, jeez, fella. It's well to have you back. Our call lines have been backed up for weeks. You were gone so long, they were talking about hiring a woman. Pal, hear it from me. No woman could ever replace you, Clint. No way, no how. Imagine that, a woman in the office. <laughs> Clint, give it to me straight. What exactly happened to your face? Oh, yeah, it was, it was an accident. Uh, I got hit in the head with an asteroid. An asteroid shaped like an otter. Can you believe that? An asteroid! Boy, I tell ya, I was not expecting that when I got up that morning. Oh boy, I tell ya! Wow. Hey, wait. My cousin was hit by a large hemorrhoid-laden otter a couple years ago. Yeah. He was taking care of that otter for weeks, putting ointments on it and whatnot. Well, for getting hit by an asteroid, I thought there would have been more damage. Looking good, buddy. Hey, guys, did you hear? Did you hear, guys? They have Dick Dynamo on the squawk box. Well, whatever's gone, the radio's got you excited, Bailey. You busted in here like a rhino in a hen house. Oh, Quinn's trying a whole new thing now. I haven't ever seen him in person, and I don't know what his amazing briefcase looks like, but I hear he's down there biting people in the face, and he has a cat now. Why, he foiled a whole gang of bank robbers with just his teeth, and a panther taped to his hand! Went the fifth dimensional... Man! <laughs> My uncle that works in the force just called me on his secret... The secret police number. And he said Dick Dynamo has a lion trained to attack any bad guy. <laughs> and then he eats their remains after the lion's done. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of my office. And stop horsing around and get back to work. I've got elderly ladies calling me right and left with their hair dryer chairs on fire. You're not on the clock to listen to stories on the radio. Easy, Clint. What's gotten into you? Yeah, Clarence. He's up, why don't you? That asteroid's really got into your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, guys. I'm calling it a day. Come on, typewriter. We're going home. 
<laughs> Look at his face. He's mad. Priceless. <laughs> Man, I've tried over 20 houses on this block. It's good to finally be home. My amino amnesiatic psychopathy must really be getting to me. Uh, I can't wait until my personality glands secrete normal fluids to the upper part of my body. Oh my sweet sparkling diamond, you're finally home. I have 12 turkeys in the oven for dinner. I had a slice of toast for breakfast, so I'm only going to devour eight of them. So I hope you don't mind eating the remaining four. There's simply no room for them in the icebox. Uh, no problem, dear. I'll just have the skin for lunch tomorrow. But I really wanted to talk more about my accident. No, dear. There simply isn't any time for such foolish talk. Why don't you watch the radio instead? Well, I finished stuffing the turkeys with coal. Well, all right. And see pandas and koi geishas later on tonight. But now, we go to an emergency press conference being held by the mayor. have voiced complaints about downtown being infested with dicks. Some people have witnessed these dicks biting people and said victims were turning into dick clones. Now I assure everybody that this is completely normal and as long as you're not bitten you will be fine. And I would like to take this opportunity to remind all you criminals out there to be on your best behavior. If you commit a crime in my town you will be bitten and turned into a putrefied, rotting engine of dick justice. As for all you law-abiding folk, just stay clear of the dicks and you'll be fine. I recommend that you stock up on food and water and barricade your homes. That is all. No questions. We're done here. Briefcase. Contact zombie dick. Yes, Mayor. I will contact him via high frequency inner ear transistor zombie waves. Have you located the real dick yet? Well, keep looking. And for the sake of bitter, buttery rolls, quit biting the citizens. Wipe out. Transmission ended. I don't think we can depend on that blundering bundle of maggots. We need to take matters into our own hands. Briefcase. Yes, Mayor. Let's check every harlot and bathhouse in the tri-state area. I'm talking a full room-to-room -room search. And of course you will need to make me invisible. Once again, I can't comply with that request, Mayor. Damn it! You're worse than one of my kids' macaroni pictures! Good morning, world. Good morning, my giant, shiny wife. <laughs> Don't you dare look at me while I'm in my full three-layered baggy opaque nightgown. We aren't married yet. Now turn your head. Bad enough we have to have separate beds in the same room without you sneaking peeks. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'll just look out the window then. Say, I, I couldn't sleep a wink last night. I uh, kept thinking about my accident. That is just amnesiac amino psychopathy acting up. You'll be as red as sparkling rain soon enough. Now, I have just enough time to roast three hogs before you go to work. You get ready for work now. Yes, dear. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. I will have a serviceman visit you between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. tomorrow. And thank you. Bye. Hey, Bailey. Why don't you take one of these to the mailroom? Thanks, buddy. Briefcase. Where's my briefcase? I have a whole week's supply of turkey skin sandwiches in there. Ah, looking good, Clarence Winterbottom. The fifth divisional manager. Also known as Clint to you, Jerry. Hey, Clint. The wife stole my car again. Can you give me a lift? Sure, Bailey. A car pulling would be swell. seen that man in my life. We gotta get moving, or my wife will be sore at me. I think I saw a side street we could take to get out of this mess. Hold it, Clint! You hit one! Hey, hey! You two watch it! Can't you see Dick Dynamo is walking here? Come on, buckaroo, get up! Well, you look fine. Here, straighten your mask up and move on. Well, I think that was Mayor White! When did he get that fancy briefcase? Yeah, 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 isn't that something? Have you noticed all the goings on with uh, Dick Dynamo lately? I haven't heard, but surely it has nothing to do with our happy, perfect lives. Just put it out of your mind, dear. The wedding is tomorrow, after all. Wait, it's only been three days. Was it supposed to take place a week after my accident? Oh dear, no. That must be where your concussion heard. Rest assured, all the arrangements have been made. All you have to do is show up at the chapel on time. Now eat your hog stuffed chicken, dear. The grease is congealing. My God. Will we ever get back to normal, darling? Hopefully never, dear. What? Oh, I mean, yes, dear. Well, this four-hour eating binge has worn me out, honey bunch. I'm going to hit the hay. That sounds like an excellent idea. I will be right there as soon as I finish the leftovers and be a darling Clinton. Turn on my heat lamp. Yes, dear. Well, Clint, my boy, a good night's sleep will do us good. And to think tomorrow I'll be wed and a week from now we can push the bed and heat rock together. Silly dear. 
You just had a terrible dream. Anyway, if there was anything out there, the night turtles would have devoured it. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, uh, the, the night turtles. You're right, dear. Well, <laughs> good night. Soon to be Mrs. Winterbottom. Yes, <laughs> night turtles. <laughs> good night, my shiny Mr. Man. you stupid computational heifer. All I want is x-ray vision to check the ladies for concealed weapons. You can surely see the practical uses. I cannot grant any such request, Mayor. My superior fifth dimensional ethics will not allow Dang it! Wait, wh what was that? <laughs> Zombie dick! What happened to your arm? <laughs> What the heck is a night turtle? Yeah. But that can wait. You you found the real dick? Yeah. He's getting married in an hour? Well, that doesn't leave as much time. Lead the way, boy. eternal matrimony, these two people, such as two life dimensions, coming together with such force that one must overcome the other to submission. <laughs> Our couple has prepared their own vows. I, soon to be Mrs. Winterbottom, take you, Clint, to be the husband of my days, the father of my offspring to have and hold from this day forth as long as you shall live. Uh, uh, I, 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 Clarence Winterbottom. Hey, I think I have yours. These, these are women's vows. Don't ruin this for me. Just read it. I'll pay. I, I, Clarence Winterbottom, the fifth divisional manager, also known as Clint, do hereby submit my life, will, and property to you for you to have and to hold for this day forth. I vow never question or doubt you or to have any independent thought of my own. I finally, I willingly relinquish the computational briefcase? Oh, wait a minute. I think my personality glands are starting to function. Oh, God! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, let's hurry this up. Uh, soon to be Miss Winterbottom, do you take this man to be your husband? I do. Clarence Winterbottom, do you take us to be your wife? Uh, uh, I, 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 I object. I object to this marriage for two reasons. One, I just had extramarital relations with the bride, and here's the garter to prove it. And two, she's a lizard man. This Justin from the future. Dick Dynamo was hunting yetis with Theodore Roosevelt in the Yukon of the US of A. It was there he was shot by a diamond encrusted amnesia juice inhibitor.
When he didn't return, Mayor White, along with Briefcase, hatched a desperate plan to resurrect a dick lookalike to avoid panic among the unwashed masses. Meanwhile, Dick Dynamo was brainwashed into marrying the diamond-encrusted lizard man, Stefan, in disguise. Luckily, Mayor White, with the temporary gift of X-ray vision, spotted the lizard bride and slept with him to soil his prospect of marriage. He then used the garter as trophy and evidence to present to the bewildered Dick Dynamo, thus expanding his shock plan, causing his memory juices to be squirted into his thought canal. And now, with memories far beyond those of mere mortal memories, he is... Dick Dynamo, the fifth dimensional man, again! You lizard men on the right, aim your diamond lasers at his bathing suit area. You men on the left, flank his rear! Hey Diamondor, that sounds like a really good idea, so how about I go help them out with that? You've ruined everything, Stefan! <laughs> Had a huge roller! Diamond, I am so sorry! Oh god, here he comes! Can't! Believe! Maybe! Considered! Consecrating! Marriage! How dare you make me laugh! This is zombie dick cavalry! No, no, no! Where did all these dicks come from? Oh, oh, what a beautiful sight! Quick, to the portal! Uh, curse you, Dick Dynamo! a genius idea getting all those zombies to work for the call center. Well, after I experienced the mind-numbing life of these average Joes, I knew it would be the perfect place for the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good to oh, be me again. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, 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 man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stefan made some marks oh. head before oh. we got married. You want to try something without it? It's really good oh, for Oh, weddings. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, that, that does look good. That looks like good marshmallow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, 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 don't take it off. Oh, 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 you want to keep some of this marshmallow? I don't want to be in communion. Love is like a song. Dick Dynamo, the fifth dimensional man, is recorded in sunny Rogers, Arkansas. The Dick Dynamo crew is John Baker, Elding Calger, J.C. Dalton, Anthony Myers, Grant Cottrell, and tonight's episode featured the voice talents of Robert Paris. Be sure to check out DickDynamo.com for more Dick Dynamo fun and excitement. This is your announcer, Hans Manley, from sunny Arkansas. Good night, folks. Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen, the demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour, bring you... Twisted Pulp Magazine. A journey beyond surreality, to worlds you never knew or hoped existed. Worlds of the supernatural. Worlds of dark satire. Worlds of nightmarish futures. Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. 
That's D-I-G-I-T-A-L-V-A-U-D-E-V-I-L-L-E dot com. Music 